for this tremendous conference. Uh, you can uh, you can still come to the conference if you're in the Dallas Metroplex area or you're driving in. Get a ticket at hearthewatchman.com. Or if you want to just watch this entire uh, conference, you can watch it on demand at hearthewatchman.com. Okay, guys, uh, Noble Gold Investment over at pastorpaulgold.com. That's www.pastorpaulgold.com. Or call them on the phone at 877 646 53 47 and tell them that pastor paul sent you you might want to roll over that 401k or diversify some of your retirement uh funds or uh savings into a gold or silver iras that's at pastorpaulgold.com all right guys here's what's going on we have breaking news don't miss tonight's a uh, couple things don't miss tonight's interview at the big picture at larry raglan okay larry raglan's gonna be interviewing me uh, his his show starts at 8 p.m. Eastern, so it's one hour before my show starts with Mike around the world. So go and be sure you watch the big picture on YouTube. The big picture on YouTube. It will be a stunning broadcast. I've already seen what Larry wants to talk about. It's going to be stunning broadcast, and, and we'll also have some new intelligence for you in that uh, interview. So that's at 8 p.m. Eastern tonight right now i want to tell you right now that you guys know of course israel has really stirred up a hornet's nest by flying in there by by blowing up this uh fake consulate that was adjacent to the uh iranian embassy but it actually was not a consulate it was a military headquarters that iran was using to run this war in Ham- in gaza with hamas and surrounding uh, proxies like the Houthis in Yemen and Hezbollah in southern Lebanon and, and the Syrian army. So you had the Iranians' top two, absolute top two uh, brigadier generals there. And Israel, of course, intelligence found out about this. And they went ahead and just took those two guys out uh, and cut off the head of the snake. So what's happened is Iran, of course, is furious, vows revenge. We've heard that before, but this is different. This time, Iran feels emboldened because they don't feel any resistance from the rest of the world. They don't feel like the world's going to try to stop them. Actually, they think the world's encouraging them to go out, go ahead and attack Israel. And I'm starting to wonder. The CIA has just made a statement. They've just warned Israel. They said, Iran will attack you within 48 hours, and that was about 12 hours ago, uh, for revenge for the consulate strike. So they're using the word consulate, and it wasn't a consulate. But anyway, um, I'm almost saying that the CIA is saying, you're going to get it, and we're not going to get in the way of that. Um, The U.S. intelligence officials have branded Israel's strike on the Iranian consulate in Syria as reckless. And they fear now a wider war is going to take place in the Middle East. Now, that's um, that's weak. But let me read on. The CIA has warned Israel that Iran will attack the country in the next 48 hours. It has been reported. Israel killed the two top Iranian military commanders with that strike in uh, on um, Iran's, uh, quote, consulate in the Syrian capital of Damascus. There's a lot of prophecy here when you start talking about Damascus will become a ruinous heap, okay? And this is part of the, uh, in the last days, uh, prophecies. This is found in Isaiah 17, verse 1. You can also go to Jeremiah chapter 49 and read verses 23 through 29. It talks about the destruction of Damascus. So you have two prophets, Isaiah and Jeremiah, prophesying the same thing, uh, which has not happened yet. Now, the uh, Iran has vowed that it would take revenge for this attack. And now foreign media is reporting that the U.S. intelligence is fearful of an attack on Israel. Uh, Iran is said to be planning a combined attack with a rain, rain of drones and missiles fired from its bases at strategic locations inside of Israel according to Al-Mahadin, 
Uh, now, this comes after the U.S. officials raised fears that is Israel's strike could lead to a wider war in the Middle East. You know, my first thing would be, okay, America, you understand, you know the, you know the alert, you can hear the chatter, you know something could happen. Get ahead of it. Get ahead of it. And squash any movement that you would see Iran making, or at least let the Israelis know. Hopefully that is happening. Now, uh, Ralph Goff, a former senior CIA official who operated in the Middle East, said Israel's strike was reckless, adding that it will only result in an escalation by Iran and its proxies. Well, you know, here's the thing. Israel's fighting a war, guys, and it's not just with Hamas. They know they're ultimately, they are fighting a war with Iran. And any kind of information that's being, uh, you know, the brain trust of this war, if they can take them out, they'll take them out. Um, who's shocked by that? But anyway, speaking to the New York Times, he, uh, he added that Israel is trying to hit the Iranian Revolutionary Guard to punish them for the ongoing plots to kill or kidnap Israeli Jews around the world. Duh, you think? So it's not reckless then. Anywhere in the world, there's plotting going on to kill Jews, and you have a chance to squash, to cut off the head of the snake, to smash two of the uh, brain trust, to protect your people. That's not reckless to take them out. That's being um, prudent and being um, vigilant and being on top of things. Okay, so anyway, former U.S. Co Central Command Chief and retired four-star general Kenneth F. McKenzie warned the attack was a blow for Iran. He also said Iran's options to hit Israel are very, very limited. Thank you. And the Israelis aren't going to back down. Thank you. Thank you, U.S. Central Command Chief Kenneth F. McKenzie. Thank you for being the, uh, that's why you're a general. That's why you're in charge and the other guy's not. Um, Dana Stroll, the Pentagon's former top Middle East policy official, warned the strike was a significant escalation and risk tipping an already volatile, unstable region into a full-scale war. Well, that's very possible, but I think it's already on, and I think that's what Israel's saying. I think it's already full-scale. It just hasn't all kicked into gear. I mean, you've had rockets flying out of southern Lebanon by Hezbollah. You've had rockets flying by the Houthis out of Yemen. You've had the, uh, the Syrians sending over missiles and artillery and drones. You have the Russians camped on your doorstep. You have the Iranians running all over the place in Damascus and all over Syria. Uh, and you have protesting going on all over the world, anti-Semitic protesting all over Europe, all over the United States in the major cities where the lefties live. And, yeah, I mean, you know, so uh, Israel's just getting out ahead of it. Uh, now, the they know, Israel knows they're so close to finishing off Hamas, and the whole world is trying to prevent that especially the United Nations. America, standing with Israel, sometimes waffling, though. We've seen Biden waffle. We've definitely heard Chuck Schumer. He didn't even waffle. He just, he just betrayed Israel. And we've seen some others, okay? And then we've also seen uh, strong Americans standing with Israel, as you would do when you stand with an ally. We've watched the British waffle. We've watched um, the French waffle. Uh, and, and, and we've watched even the Germans question. So, you know, w if you're Israel, what are you going to do? Who are you counting on? Well, I can tell you they're counting on the Lord um, for sure. Iranian President Ibrahim Razi said that after the attack, after the repeated defeats and failures against the faith and the will of the resistance front fighters, this Zionist regime has put blind assassinations on its agenda in the struggle to save itself. And the supreme leader, the Ayatollah Ala Khomeini, added that the evil Zionist regime will be punished at the hands of our brave men 
We will make them regret this crime and the other ones. Uh, yeah, obviously the Iranians are not happy about getting hit, but, you know, everybody turns a blind eye when these guys are running the war and it's they're, they're calling the shots. They're distributing the weapons. They're the ones that are uh, funneling in the artillery and the rockets and the weaponry and the money, which they got, uh, you know, recently. Uh, and that's another story. So we're going to keep a close eye on all this, guys. I mean, it's very, very, we're in a very, very uh, volatile time. I'm I'm in agreement that this thing could explode, that it could actually ex- expand. I actually think it's going to. I think that the before Israel can finish off the tunnels, I understand there's 22 tunnels under Rafa, and that they are brutally deep, and booby-trapped, and full of fighters. And to crawl in, into them and, ha- and work your way there through, a, uh, through the civilian population, which half of them are actually uh, you know, involved, or are Hamas fighters in civ- civilian clothing. So this is a very dangerous operation. And Israel wants to finish this and disarm Hamas. But in doing so, uh, there's you can see the the other uh, allies of of, of Iran um, are trying to build a coalition to try to stop that, and they're trying to twist the arm of the Americans to let it happen. You know, so we're going to wait and see, um, but this could still. The, I still think we're we're in Psalms 38, and we could actually work. Our, I mean, Psalms 83, and we're very close to tipping this thing into Ezekiel 38. We're very, very close. It's certainly a wider situation. This war is undoubtedly going to um, expand. I hope not. I pray for peace. I don't want one, you know, I don't want anyone hurt. I don't want, I don't want to ever see war. Um, it's just, it's horrible, really. I mean, just to be honest with you. And uh, so, we're we're uh, we're praying. Uh, we really are. We're praying, and uh, we're asking the Lord to help and 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 to and provide direction and to, and to bring peace. And we're praying, you know, for the peace of Jerusalem. We're praying for peace in the Middle East. We really are. And so, but I stand with Israel uh, because Israel is the one that was attacked. And have been always the one that gets attacked and gets hated on. And I stand with Israel because God chose them as his chosen people. God committed and made a covenant with Israel. And and I believe the Bible. Let's give this world back to God. Mama's crying Or do you turn away When you see the face Of the innocent dying In these darkest days Are you not afraid That it's too late Think about that Yes, we do. Keep praying, folks. Keep believing. You gotta cry, rain, the tears of pain, pound the floor and scream his name. Cause we're still worth saving. Oh yes. Don't miss tonight at nine o'clock with Mike go on like this. from around the world. Give this world back to God.
Think about that. You can make a wish. You, you can, can knock on wood. Oh, it won't do you no good. You gotta get down on your knees. Believe, fold your hands and beg and plead. You gotta keep on praying. You gotta cry, rain, tears of pain, pound the floor. Yes, we are. We can't go on like this and live like this. We can't love like this. Give this world back to God. You got to get down. Knees, believe, fold your hands and beg and plead and keep on praying. You gotta cry, rain, tears, the pain, pound the floor and scream his name because we're still worth saving. Yes, we are. We're ever one worth saving. Every one of us. Can't go on like this and live like this. We can't love, love like this. this. This world back to God. Oh, give it back. Hey! Give this world back to God, folks. Tonight. At 8 o'clock, I'll be on with Larry Raglan on the big picture on YouTube. The YouTube channel, the big picture, Larry Raglan. He'll be interviewing me tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. And then at 9 p.m. Eastern, I'll be live right here on this YouTube channel with Mike from around the world. On this, the weekend of the solar eclipse across America. With the wars and rumors of wars. Sir. Sir. Locusts. A comet with devil horns. The seven cities of Nineveh. With the total solar eclipse across America. What does it all mean? And why is NASA firing three rockets into the solar eclipse? Are you serious? Yeah, so you don't want to miss that. And also, uh, tonight, don't miss that. 8 o'clock, I'll be on The Big Picture with Larry Raglan. And then 9 o'clock, I'll be right here on this channel live with Mike from around the world. Also, tonight at around 8 o'clock, I think, uh, depends what time zone you're in and what channel you have, uh, you know, but CBN. Uh, CBN, uh, the host is Gary Lane of the CBN News Hour, I'll be on. I'll be uh, actually uh, my co-author, uh, Troy Anderson, and I are being interviewed on CBN. And so uh, everywhere. So it's going to be uh, all over the nation and all over the world. So if you get a chance to see that, that'd be great. I know it's going to air tonight. I know it's going to air sometime tomorrow, probably over the weekend. They'll play it two or three times. I know even NRB. The NRB channel is going to play it on Tuesday morning, so it it's going to be uh, you'll be able to see it. Uh, so keep that in mind. That's all happening tonight, okay? So all those things. Uh, and if you haven't ordered your Revelation nine eleven, you can do it right now. You know, I even have a an, um, QR code that I could hold up. I gotta get that. I'll, I'll have that for you this evening you just hold it up and you can just take your phone and beep, and then you can order right on the spot i can do that for you with a qr code anyway um don't miss these uh these uh, main broadcasts that'll be on tonight guys give your life to jesus christ really seriously
because you know he's coming. And, you know, when I say that uh, we're praying for peace in the Middle East, trust me, I'm praying for every individual, praying for uh, all the Palestinian people, for the women, the children, and those that truly don't want to be a part of this conflict. Um, And uh, I'm praying for the Israeli people that have been so traumatized from this brutal attack by Hamas. And, of course, you pray that this war doesn't spread into, uh, you know, Lebanon and Syria and Iran and Jordan and Egypt and Saudi Arabia. I mean, that's the last thing you want to see is a, uh, a war that expands into that type of level. And would include, of course, European nations and, and the United States and everybody else would get involved, maybe Russia. You just don't want all that. So a lot of prayers going up right now. And uh, we'll stay on top of the story to keep you up to speed because this is definitely prophecy playing out in front of our eyes. And the prophecy is telling us that Jesus Christ will soon return. Will you be ready? God bless. I'll see you guys. God bless.